So it's going now. Hello, I'm David Armand. I'm the writer of Heaven Eyes. I wrote it first as a novel and then I wrote it as a play, which is being performed around the country this year by the wonderful Théâtre Sans Frontières. So I hope you enjoy the show. Um, one of the reasons I write is because I actually love writing. I love making stories, I love making books, I love making plays. But I also hope that when people come along and see my work, my story, read my stories, I go and see my plays, that they'll be inspired themselves to write. So what we're hoping is that um, young people who come along to see this show will do some writing of their own. How do I do it? The thing about a book is, or a play, it looks totally finished. It looks very kind of almost perfect. But my books begin in a very, my plays begin in a very imperfect place. They begin in here, in my messy, imperfect human mind. And then I begin to use notebooks. I love notebooks. I use big artist sketchbooks with blank pages. And I make messy drawings and scribble and doodle and do pictures and kind of discover what might be in my story by kind of playing around with the wonderful things in pencil cases. I'm a great fan of pencil cases, of all kinds of pencils, of all kinds of pens, all kinds of highlighters. So this is how I go about finding ideas. So I begin to develop my ideas on paper like this, scribble and scroll and make a mess, and the stories begin to emerge. Then I go to my wonderful computer, and the computer helps me to begin to turn it into things that look perfect, almost like books. So I print out on the computer, and I print those out, and I scribble all over it, I throw it away, and then print it out again, until finally I have a finished story. So that's my process. So our kind of invitation to you, and our inspiration to you, is that you go away and write something of your own. You're inspired by my story, by Heaven Eyes. Maybe it could be a story that includes a journey in some way. Have a nice story about a journey, about some children who go down the River Tyne on a raft and have an adventure. A journey can take many forms. A story itself is a journey because you begin at the first word and you move gradually towards the final word. So our kind of invitation to you is to write a story which is something about a journey and to send it in to us. And there will be prizes. And we just think it would be wonderful if you would take part in that way. So thank you very much. And, um, and I hope you enjoy heaven eyes.